So it's getting pretty hot right now and all the rock chucks have gone down into the holes to, to cool down. So we're gonna cool down as well, head down to the river and we've got this badass looking uh, <laughs> bow thing that's more like a slingshot with a, a little barb on the end so we can do some fishing with it. So let's see if we can get something. It'd be pretty cool if we can. It's this time of winter I can feel your ear. The bow fishing doesn't work out quite as we would have hoped. We do spot one or two carp, but I think I'm probably more comfortable behind an air gun. I did get a few opportunities, but I missed most of them. So, Thane just, just got one um, on the hook, but unfortunately it managed to wriggle loose. Um, would have been pretty cool to get one, but that's just how it goes. Uh, yeah, it's quite fun to come out here. I'm not really used to shooting uh, slingshots with arrows on them. It's a bit tricky. I missed one earlier, I missed a big one. But hopefully next time we can come out either with a nice like, compound bow or with one of the FX arrow shooters. I think that will make our job much easier and I think we will definitely get one if we use one of those instead of this. This is a little bit difficult to aim, but yeah, it's been a fun afternoon. Eventually we get bored and switch back to the air guns after spotting one or two muskrats swimming along the river. Okay. Might be a bit closer. Might be a bit closer than what I dialed for. The first shot I take is way off, but the second shot from around 90 yards is excruciatingly Ooh. close. We come to a dairy farm and while we don't see any chucks here, we do spot some feral pigeons which we happily smash and the odd invasive collared dove. Eventually we move on once again. So we can hear uh, rock chucks making noise behind us here they're somewhere at the bottom there so we're gonna just take a walk down I have Justin's gun over here which is kind of pimped out a little bit uh, we we set it up to shoot the heavier slugs at about 50 foot pounds so it's really packing a bit of a punch so left my gun behind in the truck there and we're gonna head down and see what we can do with this guy we find a pile of rocks about 50 or 60 yards away and I set up with Justin's gun hoping to get an opportunity Patience pays off as a chuck pokes his head out and I'm able to take a shot. <laughs> Absolutely slammed him in the head 50. Rock chucks are pretty similar to the dussies I shoot back in South Africa in the sense that they live or they move around quite close to their holes and if you don't get a perfect headshot it'll take a few seconds for them to die and they will go down their holes and you just won't be able to recover them so perfect headshots are essential and it really helps to have a powerful air gun like a 30 caliber or a 25 caliber shooting really heavy pellets um, so that even if you miss the brain slightly there's enough concussive damage to just knock it out on the spot so that it falls down on the spot and doesn't actually go down its hole now we are shooting the 22 caliber right now with the slugs and it doesn't have quite the same knockdown power as a 30 caliber however it's a huge step up from a standard 22 shooting standard weight pellets um, these slugs are not only a little bit heavier than standard pellets but they do actually open up the hollow point works quite well and they open up to i'd say probably around the same size as a 30 caliber so not quite carrying the same amount of energy but they're, they're doing a lot of damage so i know that i can take a shot at the head and be confident that even though it may be slightly off from the brain, it's got enough concussive damage to drop it on the spot. And it's really nice to know that the ballistic coefficient of these is so high. In fact, probably close to double what uh, a 30 or 25 caliber is able to do. So 
in that sense it's shooting quite flat and the wind isn't affecting it as much so you're able to put that slug where you want it so i'm really happy with the way this is performing just shot a ruck chuck there at like i think 53 to 55 yards in the head so we're going to take a look at him and and kind of analyze the the um performance of these slugs let's go take a look there you go yeah good shot it's a cool looking chuck happy with that it is a cool looking chuck really light colored yeah with the sun starting to dip quite low we know we probably only have about an hour of shooting time left so we change spots once again and set up near some cornfields that look like they've been absolutely munched up by the chucks. From here on, we just see chuck after chuck appearing everywhere. These shots are all from around 55 yards and I have the Night Force SHV set to full magnification so you can see all the slow motion goodness in HD. Again, again. Make sure you get a clear shot for that side. I'll do it. Okay, there's another one. Oh, come on. And an invasive sparrow, just for good measure. <laughs> so the day draws to an end, and after that last half an hour of chuck carnage, we have quite a bit of retrieving to do. The chucks are all over the place, but we managed to collect most of them, and it seems as if we've put a fairly decent dent in the population. So this area here, where we've um, just shot seven chucks in a row, um, it's right next to a field of um, what looks like corn. You'll see behind me um, just corn as far as I can see. And these things are no more than 10 meters from here. If you look closely, you'll see how they've actually just flattened this, this section over here. So that, that kind of shows you the problems they're causing. So I think the, the farmer will be very happy to see that we've managed to get quite a few down. Yeah, right in front of it, just below that blood. So I picked up two right there. Right, well the sun's about to go down. I think we're gonna call it a day here, but what a way to finish the day. Um, just seven chucks in a row, all perfect headshots with both of these guns. Um, yeah, it's just been, I've had such a fantastic time in, in Utah. And that's very much thanks to Justin here from Utah Air Guns. Um, the main reason I came here was actually for the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge. This was kind of just something I, I thought I'd do while I'm, while I'm out here. But yeah, Justin put on an absolutely fantastic shoot. I really enjoyed it. It was one of the most fun competitions I've been part of and I'll, you'll see a video of that at some point. But yeah, I'm really just grateful for, for these guys for inviting me out here. Justin brought out his, his pimped out impact and we were testing the slugs today and it looks like they did quite well. So I want to thank you Utah Air Guns. Thanks for coming out. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> enjoyed having you. Yeah. Also want to thank the guys from, from Sideshot, Thane and, and Val Simmons, some of the most likable guys you'll ever meet. Really fantastic hunters and I think that showed in how oh, yeah. well they did in the, the competition. <laughs> they don't practice yeah. their target shooting much, but they, <laughs> they have plenty of live targets that they can practice on. But yeah, they, they invited us out here and we've both had such a fantastic yeah. time out here with the side shot guys. So we're gonna call it there, but uh, I'm sure you'll see plenty of hunting footage from me moving forward with these particular guns, the slug guns. I'm really stoked with the way they're shooting. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.